what this is doing. Embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bear's strength will increase. Hmm. I never, like, th that's a very common kind of trait in games that have, like, any sort of RPG elements in them. Uh, that, like, there are lots of, I, I guess, classes or abilities that allow you to do more damage when at low health, and I was never really a huge fan of that mechanic. No, I did miss something. See that? I did miss something. I was never really a huge fan of that mechanic, but I'm... I, I don't know. <laughs> I was... This, period. I was just never a huge fan of that mechanic. Because uh, it's like... It seems like it's an aggressive thing, but it's actually a, almost a defensive mechanic, since it allows you to do more damage when you need it the most. So, if you don't panic and utilize it, you are more likely to survive, because you will kill your enemies faster, right? It always seemed a bit overcomplicated to me or something. I, I don't know why. I don't know why, I was just never... Is it this way? Really? Chocolate, correct this. Yes, Conifer. Oh. Oh, yes, of course. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go back up now. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How did I forget about that? I, like, I knew that something was wrong. I knew that I missed something. But I just couldn't remember what. And it's like, it's so obvious now. Like, wh how, how could I forget that there is an area? That I can't see anything in. Okay, we, we gotta buy that lantern. And get out of this place. This was fun, but we there are other things for us to do. There are so many things to do in this game. Okay, I'm really... I'm gonna buy some charms and whatnot. And I'm gonna try to fight those... Mantises. Because that can be fun. Mantids. Are they mantids or are they mantises? I think they are mantids. That makes sense. Okay, let's go down. Maybe I should have gone a bit to the left or something. Yeah, so this is how the game started. By us just dropping from there. I wonder why. I wonder how that works. I still have no idea what we are, like, why Why are we doing this? Why did we go into these depths looking for adventures? What is driving us, you know? Okay, how did I do this? Oh, okay, there we go. Hey. It's nice to see though that we actually were meant to go back there. Because there are certain areas that we wouldn't be able to go. I mean like damn, it's it's cool. I think it's a very well designed area. Like because the ultimate reason why I went back there is so that we can collect the treasure that I missed. So it was like a tease that the game put in there, like Okay, there is like a treasure in the very beginning of the game and you can easily grab it with your wall jump, right? And then you go there and you find this whole new area with just cool things like this. What the hell? <clears throat> it's amazing. It's truly amazing. Okay, what is this guy? Oh, this guy trades us like trinkets and whatnot. Cool. Okay, so this increases. Oh, this lantern is super costly. Oh, wow. I thought it was cheaper than that. Oh, well. I mean, I don't know. I guess I should buy them, right? Because I, I need to collect charms so that we will unlock 
mod notch slots. They cost quite a bit though, but we have like 600 uh, Gyo currency stored in the... Oh, the way you hold your nails, so you've learned a nail art. Very interesting. I wonder, do you have the passion to continue your training? Yes. Pockets feeling empty if you need some more. Okay. I also like how everyone kind of reacts to our progression a bit. That's really cute. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we need... I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, I completely lost the train of thought. Oh well. Oh well. That lovely young lass returned to us. Who? I must admit I placed in odds on her survival. Oh, the ones that we rescued. Seems to think very highly of her rescuer, some sort of dashing warrior type. Barely stopped gushing since she got back. The warrior must have passed down below whilst I was taking my nap. Such a shame. I'd have loved to meet so, so impressive of a bug. Oh, they don't even like expect us to be the warrior because we are like so tiny and whatnot. That's cute. Faring well in your adventures below? Well, I had an adventure of my own while you were gone. I don't usually visit the town's graveyard, but I thought I'd go and visit the grave of an old friend. As I was walking amongst the tombstones, I noticed a strange kind of chanting coming from somewhere nearby. Extremely sinister chanting. I looked around to find the source and I saw two bright, horrible, huge eyes staring at me from the door of a dark cave. I pretended I hadn't heard the voice or seen the eyes and scurried back to town. My friend will have to wait a little longer for her visit. To reach Dirt Mouse, most travelers take cir circuitous, circuit, cir circuitous routes around the cliffs be beside us. It's a hard track now, but in the Kingdom's Prime things were far simpler. There is an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbled away, and even without it a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you, it's meant... It's... It has meant we've only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busiest times. I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on dirt mouse, I like the quiet. They have so much to say. Hollowness, great capital, is what, is what most of you brave types come to see. Thinking to loot its treasures, I suppose. It must be brimming with them. The city's right at the center of the kingdom, though I've heard the gates are sealed, so gaining entry can be difficult. It would be a rich bug that could return with even a fraction of the wealth inside. Despite my age, I've only seen a few who've managed it. Must say something of a dangerous about the streets. Feeling tired? That bench may be okay. Cool. Damn. That was a very exhausting conversation. Uh, this is the stagway. This is the map. Do you have to tell us something? Hmm, <laughs> what a squalid little hamlet this is. The air is foul and the townsfolk have beady eyes. I'll be heading back down below as soon as... I think... Yeah, okay. Wait, what is this? Is this that bug that we rescued? Oh, I... What, what is going on here? This is a very creepy... Oh my gosh, she has our doll. She has our doll. That's not good. This is not... No. Why is she... Is she sleeping? The white savior, the maiden woke in darkness. Confused she reached, she reached out. Sharp brambles jabbed at all sides. Burning acid bubbled close below. What nightmare had led her here? What hope of survival remained? Doomed she sought herself and to despair she fell until a light bloomed far in the distance. A bright, glowing spot fast approaching. It swept majestic about the thorns, leapt above burning waters and dove towards the maiden. 
Coming close, the form revealed at last a beautiful being, sharp horns, horns gleaming white, arms reached out for the damsel, gathering her up, grip firm. Okay. So she's writing poems about us. Cool. This is creepy as hell. <laughs> this is really creepy. Uh, if only she knew how dark our soul is. If only all of them knew. I'm gonna get, go to the map shop after this. I'm just gonna stop here for a sec. Because there might be something. No, it's just our stack boy. Just hanging out. Did you miss your husband? What's up? Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times my husband makes hollowness sound a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly dangerous place. Yes. Yes, it is. After more supplies, you've already bought so much. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned us out of anything worth selling. Conifer will no doubt be pleased, though I do wonder what he plans to spend all that gear on. I don't know. I don't know. This is... this is awesome. I'm having a very good time with this game. Okay, so there should be some giant eyes and the humming. I wonder if that's the hunter they're referring to, or if this is the... Oh, it's the cave. It's this cave that we've seen before, okay. Uh, so... Oh my god. I knew that there was... Like, I knew... Like, we've met this guy before, right? And I knew that he would be there, and I still got a bit... <sighs> yeah, so our regrets are with us. I really wonder what that means. Regrets. Like, what What exactly, what exactly do we regret, you know? Okay, let's see whether this stag can carry us to the... <sighs> the station thing? As I visit more places, I feel my memories returning to me, like the stagways of my mind are running once more. That's a nice uh, analogy. Con continue to open the stations and you'll have my deepest gratitude. Oh yeah, we can go to Queen's Station. Okay. That's good. I like this animation too. All of the cutscenes in this game were awesome. They are like not very, I guess, heavily animated or something, but they all look very like nice and cute and like somebody puts their soul into them, you know? I, I really, I really like that. I can, I can appreciate that. So I think the bank was this way. I think. There was... Wait a second. There was this thing there. And we weren't able to reach it. And now we can. Cool. Or we can just kill ourselves. That also works. Okay. <laughs> Wait, seriously? We start all the way from the beginning? Well. Oh my. How am I so... Okay. Well, we don't have any so... <sighs> Wait, we didn't lose any souls there. What happened? Okay, this is a bit annoying. <laughs> this is just a, a bit annoying, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think this is as far as we can get. 
There we go, we did it! Yes. Do we get another life? We completed this thing. Okay. Nice. So yeah, this is just one more health. What is there? Is there anything there? No. Cool. That was that was worth it. I shouldn't have failed it as much as it did. <laughs> but it was fun. It was a very like tight corner thing. What is here? Nothing. Cool. Was I wrong? Is she oh yeah, she is here, cool. Just you. Geo Hello dearie, you came to do some banking? Hell yeah. We're gonna withdraw everything. All of it. All of it. Yes. All of it. Cool. We were able actually Yo, able Kalala. to afford the lantern, but I think investing into charms is better probably better right now. But like a lantern costs one six hundred. That's that's so much. So last time I've been here, the stack actually didn't respond to us. We weren't able to access Oh, it's this lady who is eating mushrooms. Uh, yeah. Where did I want to go? To Dirt Mouse? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, definitely Dirt Mouse. We haven't really done exploring this yet. I don't think. I will... Okay. I want to try out this thing. I'm gonna charge up my... First, we're gonna use the bat. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, so many... I mean, there... I really, like, I can't call this a jump scare, but I expected to see an empty bench. And this is... <laughs> no, this is not cool game. Oh, that freaked me out. Can I? Like... Why is she not talking to me? Is she, is she too shy to talk to me? Because, like, I'm her saver and whatnot, and she's in love with me or something? Too many! Like, sh there are more dolls. Last time we've been here, there was just this one. Now there is... Oh, she was... Okay. She wasn't sleeping. She was making out with my doll. Okay. Cool. She doesn't dare look, she doesn't dare move. Fearful the slightest action would break the spell. She knew the presence at her bed, knew the calm only they could bring. Her white savior now protector, standing tall beside, powerful, perfect. I, I'm really... Okay, the white savior in the darkness. Troubled dreams beset the maiden, her savior gone, consumed below. Now her only companion, the cold wind, moaning at her door. Her heart fluttered with sudden fear, then still, a sudden calm, why, a presence, a figure close behind. She doesn't dare look... What? Is she, does she have a stalker? Is she stalking us, but she also has a stalker? This is really... This is messed up. What is going on in this bug kingdom? He keeps telling us how he would just get out, but... Yeah, okay. Let's rest again. Well, bye, maiden... something. See, see you later. We have adventures that we have to pursue. People to save. Much like y you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's kill some things. Uh, I don't have. Okay, I, I want to charge up my mana to full. Because. There might be something that we are able to do here. 
Cause that egg, that dark sleeping... Was there always light coming, emanating from there? Probably. Okay, it's a black egg, so it's like not not interactive. Uh, but it is, except it is. It's not interactable, except it is. So when we fire magic at it, it activates. There are also three skulls on it. Very different looking skulls. Actually, that reminds me of that Mantis Kingdom. Maybe if we defeat the boss there, this will open or something? Like, that might be the case, right? But I... When we do this, basically, it activates, so maybe we need to f shoot it enough times to awaken it? Okay, I thought that maybe three would be enough, it's not enough. Or maybe if we enhance the power of our spell, maybe that's how we activate it? Also, I haven't even tried this, but it's a physical attack, I don't th yeah, I, I don't think that will do anything. Oh, now this changes everything. It's an ons- okay. It's not one attack. It's multiple attacks. So we can get three attacks in. Oh. Okay then. Well, this is actually... Okay, I screwed up. I was going to check whether or not there are some secrets up here and I didn't really ever like even do that whatever okay cool there is nothing there and there are no enemies too for some reason we can dash and do everything this is interesting this is a mine shaft right There's like nothing we can do here though. Unless something has changed. Wait, I think... I think they are deeper than they used to be. I think they were only standing like where I am right now. I think this is deeper and there's like light coming from there. They might be going places. Wait, I thought they didn't... Is this a new wor verse? I thought they didn't remember it. Oh, Burry the knight with her broken nail. Burry the lady, li lovely and pale. Burry the priest in his tattered gown. And then Burry the beggar with his shining crown. Haha! <laughs> Are you surprised? I remembered the second verse. Lots of time to think while I work down here. Maybe I can even come up with some songs of my own. Maybe you will. This is hard work, but I don't mind. Down here I can keep working without even sleeping. It's fun. And every once in a while you come to visit me. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you like the sound of my voice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like that thingy. It's a bit creepy, but that's okay. Cool. Um, I don't think we're able to open that. There's like a shaking ground there, and we can't really do much about that just yet. Okay, let's go here. Why do I go here? Was there a reason for me to go this way in particular? No, but we're still gonna do it, because there might be secrets. What if? What if we are able to climb on that? No, not like that though, no. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What? Oh my! I almost died. That was so lucky, that was just pure luck. What, what am I doing wrong? Okay, I, I think... I think it's the fact that I'm trying to jump on them before they are done swinging. God damn it. Okay, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get up on the ledge there. 
I don't think if it's possible, but I want to try it. Maybe I should... Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Let's bait them in a bit further in. This is not the attack I'm looking for. This one. Wow, okay. Damn it. Damn it. It's so hard to... I guess I should jump? Damn it. Damn it. No. Okay. No. Don't die. I can't die. It would be really dumb to die. Oh my gosh. They do a ton of... They actually do two... Two damage to us instead of one? Okay, whatever. I... I need to heal. There's a spike here. This was dumb. <laughs> I should not have died. Wow, there are no enemies. Where are my enemies? I need to heal up. I think it's possible. I actually think that it's possible to climb there. You just need not to suck. Even if it's possible, I don't think I'm able to pull it off. Like, as a player. Because... With our weapon's reach... I think if I had l bigger reach on my weapon, that would have been much easier. So, if I actually want to do that stuff, I would need to invest into uh, a longer nail. Or like there is a charm that makes our attacks reach a bit further. So if I want that, I need to do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm able to pull that off with my current equipment. May like, it's probably possible, but you would need to do a very precise jump with a very precise attack, and I'm just too bad for it. But that's okay. Damn it. What I'm really upset, though, is that the fact that I broke my charm. Because I was greedy, too. Like... Oh! Oh, this guy just does a ton of attacks. Well, it's easy to kill now. I was too greedy with my... Yeah, I could have just played safe, played it safe, you know? And let go, but I thought I would be able to survive with two health, and I wasn't. And I died, and that cost me 150 coins. Wow. This was fun, though. Doing that. Kind of practice the timing on my attacks. That was really cool. Fighting these flying bugs. <sighs> I don't think I'm able to do about anything about this. Still? A door with an open slot. Yeah, I, I don't know how to open that. There are also spikes there. There was a secret below us, but we already looted that. Come on, there we go. Anything there though? Nothing. Unless I'm able... <laughs> Unless I'm able to do this really stupid thing. No. Okay, cool. Um, what? So I will gain the ability to fly. Because there is... 
Oh! That's a thing that you can do? Oh my gosh. This changes... Certain things. I was able to get that... Um, charm that allowed me to be... To do more damage when we were at low health. I was able to get it at like the very beginning of the game. Because I could have just jumped uh, on those spikes by attacking them like this. Wow, well, this didn't even cross my mind that you can do that. Okay, I should be more, I guess I should be a bit more inventive with my attacks. With, with how I approach puzzles and whatnot. Since that's a thing that you're able to do. It's really cool. Love it. I'm just a bit confused now. <laughs> like, no, not, not necessarily confused, that's not the wrong word, but there are so many... So many potential areas now that I could have explored and whatnot. And, like, I, I thought that I was just not able to do anything about them, and I don't remember all of them now, because there are so many of them. And it's like, well, I, I need to just run through everything now. <laughs> Again. And I like that. I like that aspect a lot. Okay, let's rest on the bench. Yeah, our charm is broken, which is not the best. It's a bit of a sin to wear too many charms at once, isn't it? Sometimes less is more. Yes, you shouldn't try to charm to cram on more charms that you can handle. The effect could be positively overwhelming. <laughs> what? Wait, is she actually telling us that... I, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay, there we go. Long nail. Maybe with this thing we would be able to... I'm... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna buy it and see how it works. Maybe this will allow us to actually get there. This charm seems, seeps lifeblood. So this one will allow us to periodically gain blue hearts, maybe? Blue lives? Shields? Oh, three notches for the Shaman Stone. Okay, Charm Notch. Let's buy this one. Let's buy this notch. Cool, that's definitely something that we need. And now we can buy... Oh, quick focus. It's 800. Seriously? 800? God damn it. And this, was, this one is only 220? That's ridiculous. You only need 8 more charms to an unlock another notch. Okay. Well, let's buy the Shaman Stone. Maybe Lifeblood Heart, just to see, like, I just want to see how this works. Since we can't really buy anything else, I might as well buy all of this stuff. <laughs> My Depper Getfly, would, would you care... What? Would you care to know how your charms are made? I don't often tell my customers what was the truth being a little morbid, but you are a sharp one, so you may have guessed already. Few ways a charm appears, but mainly it's from final wish. A dying bug's potent desire crystallized into these gorgeous, powerful trinkets. Now, don't go getting too sad. There are exceptions, of course, and... Really, it's quite beautiful, makes them all more precious. Just think of all the little bug souls that went into creating your collection. It's like a crowd of strangers in your pouch, or purse, or uh, whatever it is you keep them. That's... Wow, okay. So the only thing that's ours is the soul full of regrets 
and all of these charms, all of these abilities, it's like other people's dreams that we take for our own and use them and like try to achieve them. This is this is actually messed up. If I understand it correctly, maybe I'm just being like biased or something. <laughs> 